G'day and welcome, I'm Faintly Saintly, and today we're looking at Wonder Stars. Now I came across this demo on Steam, the uh, cool art style caught my eye, so I thought I'd give it a try. But it turns out it's a really solid sort of turn-based RPG underneath all of that. It's uh, So it looks great, but it plays great as well. A unique part of this game is that all your moves are basically made up of words. And as you play, you unlock more words, and these words are things like punch or kick, like actions, and then modifiers or elements. So you could do super kick or fire kick or something like that. So it's a very unique take on it, but it looks great and it plays great. So I thought I wanted to uh, showcase it a bit here on the channel. I'm going to skip the tutorials because I have done these before. We'll start at episode one. Ringo, watch out. The big bad wolf appears. So if you're a fan of sort of a bit of that retro anime style, this game has, you know, fully animated cutscenes as you're about to see here. So the art style is uh, quite nostalgic. And everything is just done and presented beautifully. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I love it. So this was basically the tutorial fight to start the game. This is your character Ringo. And you can see down the bottom weaknesses and resistances. And this is my opponent, this champion, La Matadora. Uh, it does have two weaknesses, but I haven't discovered them yet. And usually you would only start with a few words, but because I have played through the tutorial and a couple of extra fights, these look like they're just unlocked for me now. So uh, let's work it out. So the green ones are action, art, action words. The blue one is an element, and these are all modifiers. So I could do a punch. I could do a super punch. Or I could do a super fire punch. And you'll see here, these are the slots you have to uh, fill with words. You only have, I only have four at the moment. I'm using three words out of four. So I could make it a special fire super punch. And you'll see here, you know, special. If I can... It's not telling me what it's doing. Let me just empty this and clear that. So special adds two points to any action. Super adds one point. Fire adds the fire element, obviously. So I'm going to do a super special fire punch. I'll say OK. Bang. So we have found a weakness, which is punch and fire, which is good. And uh, hitting a weakness gives me an SP and SPs I can spend to uh, open up another word slot here so I could do another move. But because these are all used up at the moment, I can't. But I won't do that now. I'm going to end my turn. And the enemy will move. It'll strike me. That's fine. So now I'm going to do a, a super... What's extra? 1.5 times. A super extra punch. There we go. Okay, they're down to four health. I could use this SP and get a kick in, but I don't think it's worth it at the moment. Okay, I resist fire, so that's fine. Didn't do too much damage. I'm just going to do a, a fire punch. Uh, what will I do? Punch does one damage. Tell me here, won't it? Current action will do three damage, so I need a, a super fire punch again. Let's just get that in there. Get this opponent out of here. So we get a bit of a weird cutscene here. Looks like there's something happening in the static. But I think it might just turn out to be a dream. Or a flashback. And then you get these sort of little cutscenes with dialogue and uh, character interactions. Then you meet Anzu, the buff grandma of Ringo. Who is quite angry at uh, Ringo talking back. So I'm not sure if I'm going to sit through all the cutscenes. I might make things a bit long. And I will, uh, I'll leave that to you to discover because the game is available now in demo form if you wanted to go check it out for yourself. And learn about all these characters, but basically they do reference uh, Ringo's brother, so something happened there, but we're not quite sure what. 
And they're just having a bit of a back and forth, and soon Grandma is going to send us shopping for coriander. For some reason. I don't know if that's actually relevant. I think it's just an excuse to <laughs> progress the story and leave the house. So grab the phone and leave. Better go get the stupid coriander. Or was it parsley? Maybe I'll just get both. And then we move on. So here, it'll put us on this uh, traditional sort of world map style thing. As you move through these blank spaces, you recover words which are on cooldown. So cooldown does last outside of battle. So the kick you'll see down here, it'll say two cooldown turns or one or three. So as we move around the map, cooldown goes down. So we have combat here. We have an event here. I think this is an NPC we can talk to. And this shiny one here is an item. And then we have two exits. We can either go this one or the one that says act. Not 100% sure. I'm guessing this one will unlock a word. And this might unlock one of those word slots. But we'll have to get there and find out. So we're into the first combat. Ready for action. And this is a giant boxing crab. What else? Can see it. A can can grey joe. So you see he's got 13 health. He also has this little uh, number here, which I believe it's a breaking point. I'm not quite sure exactly what they call it. But if we get his health to drop in between this range, he'll actually surrender. So let's get started. I'm going to give him a super fire kick just, oops, just to start with. You ever eat a whole pizza by yourself and that's all you think about the rest of the day? <laughs> the dialogue and just the interactions are, are quite uh, funny, quite amusing. Careful with the face. We found one weakness of his, which is fire. Okay, I do have one move left. If I give him a quick punch, that'll knock him down to this range. We'll see what happens. No, it won't. He'll resist it. Interesting. I'm just going to end that turn then. So he's going to punch me back. That'll do one damage, which I can live with. Uh, what if I do a super punch? I don't want to kill him. I just want to get him into this range. There we go. Well, I think I'm going to call it a day. Now you have the option to go for peace up here. So he surrenders, you end the fight early. And the benefit of that, well, apart from you do get some points here for how you acted in the battle, lawless, pacified, 10 rounds or less in combat, that kind of thing. I did get a new word, a new block word, which I think I already had, so it might be a double up. I get some currency and pep up alert. I impressed my opponent. That means I got him down to that uh, breaking point range and then I uh, accepted his surrender, basically. I didn't kill him. And now he'll sort of join me as a supporter. Well, you're amazing, he says. And we get breaking down. This makes all opponents' breaking point range wider by two points. And we get a bonus word from having this equipped, which is jab. So these are like... What's the word? Like passive effects that'll sit in the background if I have a look at the pep-ups here. He's selected. So while he's selected, this is active. And that means all the breaking points of opponents will be wider by two points, which means they're easier to uh, basically force to surrender. And I do get a bonus word to use in combat as well. So we'll move along, see what's at this event. Another angry crab. Playing beach volleyball and we're one player short. Want to join? <laughs> what should I do? I think we do want to play beach volleyball, obviously.
Do you know how to play? <laughs> how hard can it be? So she just kicked the ball. Is that allowed? Thanks for playing. You really saved the day. Can I give it that? Power up. Actions are stronger than words, or is it the other way around? Plus one extra word slot per turn if the seven slot limit is reached, one SP is gained instead. It's interesting. So that's basically a random event, just with some dialogue and uh, dressing up, basically added to it. I'm just trying to see what we actually. How do we see what we got there? I see that one there. But is that like an item somewhere? It doesn't appear to be. Okay. Uh, let's go check this item out. Treasure get. This action affects two targets. That's a wide modifier. That's cool. Let's see what this is. You're about to exit the current area. Claim the reward. Okay, another word slot. Oh, I see. So if I do fill up the maximum word slots every time I get an unlock like this, I'll get an extra SP instead. Fine with me. So we move on. There's our goal. We have some more events. We have another item. We have some dialogue and another combat. Another punchy crab. Who are you calling little? Oh, okay. So they're just trying to explain the whole uh, supporter mechanic or pep up mechanic. Which is basically what I just talked about. I thought I'd turn the uh, tutorial off. But anyway. Yep. Well, you get it. Power up. Plus one pep up space. So now we can have basically two instead of just the one. Oh, and he joined me as a friend as well. And his effect is, when landing on a new empty space, randomly recover one HP. It's time to did a duel. All right, well, we'll put him on because we have nothing else. We'll move on to this combat. Would you be interested in some bullying? <laughs> Let's go. So if I'm understanding this right, there's a person roaming the beach with a bat looking to bully children. That seems reasonable. Loriana, a Ferut teen. What is that word? Ferut teen? I don't know. Uh, 17 health. Their breaking point is between 2 and 10. We don't know any of their weaknesses or resistances, but I am weak to bats. I have a natural weakness to being hit with a bat, which is kind of reasonable. So... Uh, do need to be wary of that. So we do have some extra... So we've got two punches here. We've got a jab. One damage point twice. So I'm going to use a... Super fire. There's no more space for that word, really. Jab. There we go. Super fire jab. Hit twice. Which is nice, get some straight down to that breaking point. Thanks to my crabby friend's uh, ability. Let's make peace. Okay, so lots of different points for these different things. Burn status inflicted, pacified, five actions or less, ten actions or less, so. Okay, I don't know what this score or the honor actually means for me, but it's, you know, interesting. Got a new word, tough, and eight zelly. And we impressed our opponent. We could, like, hang out, you know? So this person's gone from threatening me with a bat to wanting to chill. 
Spirit Healer, using one SP, recovers one HP, and gives me the bonus word Headbutt. So now I have a choice to make. I've only got two slots here. I might swap him out for the Spirit Healer there. So there we go. Get this item. Okay, so that's just a healing item that I can use in combat, which is nice. What happens here? Yo, Applehead. Wait, is this my friend or is this just another random bully with a bat? Help a sister out? Are you kidding? If you want money, you better earn it with your fists. It's a strawberry sandwich, and they're going to sell out any minute now. We get snacky. Don't we all? So is this actually leading to something, or is it just uh, telling you about healing items at the store or something? We'll move on. There's another combat here. You look like a challenge, I accept. Oh, he's got, uh, he's got help. So I've got a boxy crab and a angry team with a bat on my side, and now I've got to fight them, which is fine. So my jab is on cooldown, so is fire, which is unfortunate because I would really love to fire punch this crab. That's an interesting sentence. Um, headbutt, what does this do? One damage point. So I'm going to do a special super extra kick on this one. Maybe this one will be weak to kicks, we'll see. Okay, we've got them within that breaking point zone, which is nice. Now I'm going to... Just block, I suppose. Put a block up. And end my turn. Crabby Man's going to use Super Water Punch on me. That's four damage. That's not too bad. Because I've blocked most of that. All of that. Um, I do have an SP here as well, but I'll save that. I'm going to use Super Fire Punch on this fella. Give him a fast headbutt. Hope they're gonna do three damage. No, I was trying to get him to that breaking point, but uh, he was resistant to that. And oh, no, he was weak to the headbutt. Okay. Either way, I didn't get where I needed to. Oh, hang on. Why is that saying peace when he's not there? Anyway, let's try it. Some points, got another jab. I got a pineapple frappe. $18. Okay, so I can choose which of these opponents I can bring along. Okay, I've already got this one. Makes all opponents breaking point range wider by two points. So if I combine that with the crab, rather than spirit healer, They'll both I wonder if it stacks to make the breaking point range wider by four points. We'll see. Another cutscene here. Interesting. Oh, it's got to be here somewhere. Are you okay? Are you sure? You almost crashed. That was a perfect landing. Okay. 
interesting. So Wolfman has flown his jet bike from somewhere, crash landed on the beach. And then uh, this little golden thing is pointing right at Ringo. You have a piece of the map, don't you? No, I've never seen anything like that in my life. Really? Then what's that thing glowing in your pocket? My phone charm? I think there's something inside. What is that? Okay, piece of the map. Pretty cool, huh? What's that behind your ear? See you around, up, lead. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. All right, looks like we've got a few different directions we can go on this map. There's a combat protecting a treasure. And there are several different pair up options I can take to leave. I'm gonna start here. Is that a capybara? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, what the hell? <laughs> Why is that so disturbing? Ron Soko, a Chibara. All right. Super special fire bat. Extra. Going all in. Painful. But we get into the breaking point instantly. Interesting. The character designs a. What the? It's a huge amount of honor for that fight. What happened there? The last ones I was getting like 200 at a time. That gave me 8,000. Another fire is good. And we impressed the creepy buff capybara. Start each battle with five block points, but earn no SP for the first three turns. That's not bad, actually. Let's get this treasure. Consecutive. Repeat an action three times, but each repetition is weaker. That could be cool. And water. Turns actions into water actions. Plus two points. Low chance of targets getting wet. Whatever that means in this context. Uh, there's another combat here. Maybe I'm just going to wander over here just to... Oh, I couldn't skip that. I'm just going to um, let my moves cool down. Gorilla Rainstorm. Uh, take cover, I guess. Found a cave. What the? Hey, little birdie. Are you the spirit of this shrine? Okay, the bird gave me a treasure. $12. Is there meant to be a shrine in the background here? Because <laughs> I'm not seeing a shrine, I'm just seeing a pitch dark cave. Okay. Random event, $12. Um, there is another treasure over here behind two combats. We'll have to hit this other random event first, though. Grandma's calling. <laughs> What's taking so long?
Grandma sent me twenty dollars for the groceries. Okay, we'll move on. Another Grey Joe. Rad Ralph. Do I have another fire? Where'd that go? I thought I unlocked an extra one. Anyway. Um, all my specials are basically on cooldown. I'll use a fast jab just to... Oh, okay. Jab fast to reduce the cooldown of the jab. And I suppose I'll block. He's doing the same. I'm going to hit him with a super bat. to the breaking point. Those two breaking point uh, bonuses I have don't seem to be stacking. It's hard to tell though. All right, what's your ability? One more equip space for all types of words. Limit of two elements. Limit of four mods. Plus five extra points when used alongside kick, knee, or drop kick. I'll put the tough one in there. Okay, I'm at my limit here. That's why I don't have the extra punch, that's fine. Uh, we'll head this way. It's going to move straight to the combat, I think. Two crabbies. Okay. One's got slightly less health. Mr. Crab and Mr. Boots. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm going to do a special fire punch. Pick me, pick me, okay. Wait, what am I saying? All right, he's in breaking point. And then we'll do a super fire bat to this fella. I think I'm gonna call it a day. Sounds good to me. See, I'm back to getting like 250 honor. I don't know why I got 8,000 for that one. Pineapple frappe, got a gutsy word. And two new crabbies to choose from. Reveals one weakness and one resistance for all enemies at the start of battles. Well, they're both the same. That could be handy. I might swap this out. So. Maybe this one would be good because I'll get five defense to start with. Reveals one weakness, it's also pretty good, but we'll get the creepy buff cappy in the team. Pep up shake plus. Equip one more pep up for the duration of the episode. Alright, well now we can get peekaboo. Because now we have three. Alright, let's head this way. Wait on, how many words well, lots have I got? Six, so I can still get this one. Okay, so seven is the limit. Alright, a couple of 
ways to go here. I'm just going to go straight for the combat, I think. Maybe like the taste of my claws. This is a King Joe, not a Grey Joe. He's weak to headbutts. So what if I do a super special fire headbutt? Um, and then I'll do an uh, extra fire, no. an extra, sorry, a fast fire bat maybe. Okay, and then their turn. Locked him. Is he weak to bats? Yes, he is. If I saw a fire bat. There we go. Is that a breaking point? We'll make peace. There we go. And a bit of one at a time. Another fire. Another healing item. It's another defensive one as well. That could be good, starting with like 10 block if they stack. Treasure get, plus three points to any action, big. And wind. That's pretty good, so I have a wind element word here and a big modifier word. I think I'll keep what I've got for the moment. Treasure get. Another healing item. Inventory is full. Recovers all SP. I suppose I'll drop that because I don't really... Yeah, drop that one. Don't really have a use for that one just yet. Um, oh, we're back home? Or nearby? He's Wolf. There you are, you thief. Damn it, you're relentless. Look, I don't know what that glowy thing is, but it was inside my phone charm, so that means it's mine. Give it back. You just said you don't know what it is. It doesn't matter. Key Eye Duel. Did I pronounce that Key Eye? I thought Key Eye was supposed to be an honourable sport, but you, you're just looking for a fight. If you win, you get your glowy thing back. If I win, you get the hell out of my sight. Deal? So this could be like a little mini boss situation. Or a regular boss situation. One thing I'm curious about, let's see if this fire has a cooldown on it. So this one doesn't. So I'm just gonna swap it out for a water. So there's no cooldowns there. That shouldn't do. Don't you dare wrap me up to the cops if you lose. Okay. What does that mean? I'm not quite sure. He's got three different pools of health. Or two different pools of health and... One pool of armor to get through. Well, let's do a fast water kick just to rule out some. Oh, we know his weaknesses. We know one. Ah, from that uh, ability. He's weak to kick and he's resistant to jab. So instead of kick, I'm going to try punch. 
and we'll just see if we can work out any more resistances or weaknesses. It's weak to something. Weak to water. So what if we do a super fire bat? I don't understand what's happening up here. Anyway, he's also weak to fire. Uh, I guess I will block. Super ferocious punch big hand. <laughs> okay, that's a bit brutal. Let's do an extra special. What's he weak to? Kicks. Extra special water quick. Tough. There we go. This will be a huge hit. Bam. Scratch me and cause bleed. So it looks like there's no break point here. I have to end the fight. So I will do a super fire bat with a fast modifier as well. Just in case I need to use it again, but I don't. Healing item, money. Alright, another fight. There's two of them again. Unruly Joe. He's weak to bats. And this guy, Mixter, is weak to jabs. I think I'll go the crab first. So he's, uh, let's go a special water bat. Oh, he's probably not weak to water, is he? Perfect. He's in the breaking point zone. Let's do an extra super headbutt. No, you're weak to jabs. Do I have jabs? No. I'm on my break, okay. Painful. Not painful enough. Could use this SP. Maybe just get a block in as well. Alright, end the turn. Jesus, they break the block and did 12 damage. Interesting, let's do a tough super water. Immune. <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional. But he's immune to water. So I'm just going to give him a, a fast. Smack with a bat. It's a tough one. He's resistant to bats. He's weak to kicks. We don't know about punches. Um. Hopefully it doesn't do too much damage to me. Kind of painful. Maybe I'll use a healing item now. Back to full health. I'm going to use the SP to get that uh, slot back. So, what's he weak to? Jabs and kicks. Extra special super fire. Not a bat. Let's try a headbutt. Let's, no, actually. Let's try a punch. Ah. 
He's still resistant. What's he resistant to there? Fire. Okay. So elements aren't good for him. But if I headbutt him... Hopefully that'll get him one damage down to nine. Then we can make peace. Okay. Bit of honor, huge, and water. New words. And pep ups. Chatterbox. For each NPC you talk to when exploring the map, regain five HP or using one SP recovers one HP. I think this could be useful. I might not use it, but could be handy. Get this treasure. A hearty shake adds 10 HP for the duration of the episode. Sounds good. Do you want to go for this item as well? What if I try and get to the goal? Hey, that was quite a lengthy cutscene. As I said, I'm not going to put too much coverage on the cutscenes in this one. If you're really interested in the story, um, there's a lot of it. I recommend you uh, check out the demo for yourself. But it looks like Wolf has joined us. He brings words, claw, sharp, and wind, and says whatever. He just does not give a F. All right. So... Ringo words, wolf words. So do we share a word limit, it looks like? So if I take... How do I take these off? So what's good? Claw, punch, kick, lock, item, jab, I guess. Um, we want sharp. We want... So big's pretty good. Big. We want... Fast. Tough. Maybe another big. We'll see what happens. Show me if you're truly ready. So this will be interesting to see how the fight goes with two characters. We don't know grandma's... Oh, she's weak to jabs. We shouldn't jab grandma. Gotcha. So we're going to give her a big, fast, fire jab. Okay. Need to put jab in first. Big, fast, fire. Kids, don't fire punch grandma. What's your stance? Oh, is that the damage is about to do to me? I'm gonna do a big block. And then we're going to do a nothing. You're going to end the turn. Six damage. I still have no idea what this is trying to say up here. Anyway, um, when is Wolf's turn, or does he not get a turn? Anyway, uh, where's my claw? There it is. Ah, oh, so maybe he just comes out when I use his words. So if I use big, tough, sharp, uh, water, claw. There he is. That makes sense. So she's weak to claw, it's good to know. Uh, I'm going to do a... Nope, 
No, I'm not. We're going to do a basic kick. Not bad, not great. Oh, she blocked. Do a big, fast, fire j No, no. My mistake. Jab. Big, fast, fire jab. Danger zone again. It's a little fire punch. Me. Let's go on for the big block again, but now we can do the big, big, sharp water claw. And Wolf should finish the job. Ooh, not quite. This is weak to jab, so let's just finish this. Take that, Grandma. that is the end of the demo. So if you liked that, I'll put a link to the Steam page in the description. It is definitely worth checking out. It's quite a fun little uh, sort of RPG. And uh, again, I've probably cut out most of the dialogue and cutscenes in this just to shorten the video time and not spoil anything if you wanted to enjoy it and experience it for yourself. So there is quite a bit of dialogue, quite a few backstories are explored. So uh, there is some development for the characters here. It's not just a, a shallow surface level RPG. But I'm going to wrap it up there. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this game. And if you have any other recommendations for games you'd like to see me play, I'm always open to suggestions. And uh, consider subscribing if you want to see more like this. I do cover lots of indie games and VR games. So um, if you want to see more like that, just uh, subscribe and stay in the loop when new videos come out. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.